okay, I'm almost in tears, so I had a bit of a shocker. Day three, it's absolutely freezing. Um, it went below zero last night. Apparently all our water froze. <laughs> That's how cold it is. I am so wrapped up as well. I've got so many, so many layers. So I'm actually, I'm actually quite snug. My feet are a little bit numb and my fingers are a little bit numb. Just waiting for the sun. Come on, sunshine. There is Good the old Canadian ice. Ice. <laughs> <laughs> We're just waiting for the sun. It's coming over there. We can see it. It's making its way to us. Come on, sunshine. We're waiting for this five degree temperature increase. a bit of a shocker i was riding down this road going super fast like it's nice downhill look down and there's no gopro on here and i was literally like oh my god that is like that's three months worth of footage i know i'm not three months like three weeks worth of footage and you know you're just like oh my god i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry i was like don't cry just ride back really slowly <laughs> oh god so basically i've traveled all the way back here but i found you oh my god i was oh i'm oh, thank you Oh, at least I haven't lost the footage. Yay. Oh, so we have arrived at our first little resupply point. So cute little store. I haven't been in yet, so let's go. We're going on to like, four miles further down the road to like a major reef. Oh, wow. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really impressed. Hola. Hola. Oh, I've got loads of stuff. I'm obviously gonna look to see if I've got an ice cream. Oh, I've got fruit and tomato. Oh, that's empty. Oh. Cold juices, beverages, beverages. Oh, they've pretty much got everything. Sweet. I think I'm gonna get a drink. That's what I'm gonna get. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Oh. So um, we've just come and done our final food shop, loaded up the bikes. I'm actually putting a lot of my water on the front of the bike to help balance it out. Um, one of the little things you should know as well is when you come into like the local stores, you can actually get purified waters. When you come in, you'll see a machine like this. This is where you fill it up. So I filled up like three liters and it costs like five pestos. Pestos? Pistos, you know what I mean. So it's super cheap. And instead of having to buy like bottled water, so you're gonna save yourself a fortune doing that. But um, yeah. Andrew's loading up all his water now. How many liters of water did you get? I got 10 liters of water. Ten, he got and 10. I didn't even fill this guy. Which is probably a good thing because water is seriously heavy. And also it's really difficult figuring out like where to put it on your on your bike. So yeah, I've got like maybe about oh, three liters up here, liter and a half here, another three liters in there. So yeah, we're, we're good to go. I think we're gonna maybe like cycle for like another hour or so, then find somewhere to camp save our pennies so we don't need a hotel yet. <laughs> so I thought the motorcycles were like the Baja 1000. It's not, it's those like little car things. No, we... it's motorcycle, it's oh. little cars, it's trucks, it's um, bugs. 
It's everything, basically. But we've Even just... Even mountain bikers. <laughs> so we've been coming down this, this stretch, which is a little bit gnarly because of the sand. Problem is, there's nowhere for us to go. Can you see how it's raised up on both sides? So basically, you've got these cars coming at you full pelt, and it's like... Where do you go? So you do try moving over, leaning over to the side and let them go past. So I think we're going to pull off here and um, just find somewhere, somewhere to camp for the night. Here we go. We're all getting ready to film. He better not, he better not be taking a left anyway. <laughs> that would be a shocker. <laughs> about 20 past three um we cycle for a little bit longer we've got the baja 1000 which is happening just down there and then as you can see up here we've got some um the grounds going up so it's getting more mountainous so basically we don't want to sleep high tonight because it was so cold last night so we've come down here but we've got to be very careful where we set up um set up tent in case like the the cars come by because there's tracks basically going everywhere so we found this place here only slight problem it's all covered in poo so we've just spent <laughs> we've just spent like the last like 10 minutes everyone's grabbing a stick just to try and clear yeah clear the poo away so literally like this sweep the poo away sweep the poo away um so this is where i'm gonna set up my tent here almost got you on camera unzipping your pants <laughs> um yeah whew, long day long day we've done about 30 miles today tent is set up the home tonight andrew's looking totally badass sat there with like his bike in the background dom's collecting wood for a little fire we're gonna have here there's my food for tonight there's my bike isn't, great. Oh, you have isn't your, she pretty uh, oh, you have your shovel of course i got my shovel so when you go for a crap it's yeah great to have it right there beside exactly the you've if you poop in the woods you've got to dig a hole at least two three inches do your business and then cover it over it's only good protect the natural environment oh.